Hey, Mark Rice here. And if you want to create a small game and you need a small character animation for it without plugins, this is tutorial for you. It will fit perfectly into your game. So, enjoy. Okay, so as I said before, it will be very fast, very easy and very simple. Before I start with animation, I will parent these shapes and change the anchor points. So select the front arm layer, hold control on the keyboard, select the head and the back arm and parent these shapes with the body. Okay, beautiful. That's it. Now I will change the anchor points for the arms and for the legs. So select the front arm. Okay, I will isolate these shapes. Here, select pen behind tool and move the anchor point here. I will use shoulder for it. I will do the same for the back arm. Okay, beautiful. For the front leg, I will move it here and for the back leg. Okay, now I can start with the animation and I will start with the front leg. So select the front leg layer, hit R on the keyboard for the rotation settings and here on the first frame, create the first keyframe. Okay, it will be minus 30. Okay, here in the middle of the animation, I will create the second keyframe and it will be 30. And for the last keyframe, I will copy the first one. Okay, I will do the same for the back leg, but here instead minus 30 will be 30 and instead 30 will be minus 30. So hit arrow on the keyboard, create the first keyframe. Okay, it will be 30. In the middle will be minus. And that's it. Let me check. Beautiful. Okay, and one more thing. Here, between the first and the second keyframe, I will create one more for the front leg. And I will do that for the position setting. So hit P on the keyboard. Okay, select the layer, hit U. So now I can see my keyframes for the rotation and for the position. And here in the middle, I will move leg. Okay, something like this. And I will do the same with the back leg. Hit P on the keyboard. Okay. Okay, that's it. Now I will animate the body, so hit P on the keyboard, create the first keyframe here on the first frame. In the middle of the animation, I will down body a bit and I will copy the first keyframe for the last one. I will do the same with the head. Okay, cool. Now I will rotate the arms, so hit R on the keyboard, create the first keyframe. And here will be 30, here will be minus 30. And here I will copy the first keyframe. Okay, and I will do the same with the back arm. It will be minus 30, 30 and minus 30. Okay, that's it. Now shadow. So select the shadow. Hit S on the keyboard for the scale settings. Here create the first keyframe on the first frame and here unlock these settings. Okay, in the middle of the animation here will be 90. Okay, and here I will copy the first keyframe. I like it. Now select all the keyframes, hit F9 on the keyboard for the easy animation. And now one secret that will make this animation much better. Select all these keyframes except the shadow and the background. Okay. 
click with the right mouse button and pick up recomposition. Okay. Now I got the new composition and before I start with the animation, I will move the anchor point. Okay, so select the anchor point and move it here. Okay, so the wrapper will be the button part of the character. Hit S on the keyboard and create the first keyframe for the scale on the first frame. Unlock these settings. Okay, here will be 19. And here I will copy the first keyframe. Select these keyframes, F9, and let me check. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you like it. And this is just one part of the tutorial. So if you want to learn how to animate your character from front and back side, join this incredible list here because the best is yet to come. Peace.